Hello, people, and welcome to episode 89 of Find Music. Yep, yep, there it is. And uh, you are about to experience three new episodes from three trustworthy people who are always looking for music. Okay, let's just make it three people who are looking for music. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Always first off, batting first, Frederick Whitlock. Okay, the uh, album I'm looking at this week is a jazz rock album, uh, Jazz Fusion, Herbie Mann, Live at the Whiskey, The Unreleased Masters. Now, this is an album that came out uh, in the late 60s, I think 1969, as a single album with just two songs on, on the album, two lengthy numbers. Um, and Real Gone Records has reissued it and remastered songs from four different sets at the Whiskey that on that shows, on those shows. And 216, 2016, it came out. It's a great double CD set. And uh it's from the years when Herbie Mann was running his own record company, Embryo Records, distributed through Atlantic. And Herbie might be forgotten by many because in the last part of his career, he came out with some really weak pop albums. And uh, But people forget he was a serious groundbreaking flute player. He, during his early career, he broke ground with Afro, Afro jazz, Brazilian, and then jazz rock with his masterpiece albums, Memphis Underground and Push Push. He uh, got this group together from a couple of people that he had on his own embryo records Sonny Sharrock and on guitar and Steve Marcus on saxophone and Roy Ayers on vibes. It's over two hours of great <laughs> jazz fusion, funk, soul, experimental jazz. Everyone has room to soar and push each other to just incredible heights. Herbie Mann is in his finest hours here. There's a 23 minute version of Donovan's Tangier, which blends in with Tim Harden's If I Was a Carpenter. Sonny Sharrock's guitar playing is meaty, experimental sometimes. He pushes the limits of a guitar just like Jimi Hendrix did. And his wife, Linda Sharrock, is featured on a couple of cuts in wordless vocals. The one opens up the second disc, Black Woman. It's from their album to get, that they did together. That's the title song, Black Woman. And it just drips in a wordless vocal with celebration and excitement and pain all at the same time. And Steve Marcus's solos are incredible on this album. Uh, sometimes fiery, sometimes just floating fearlessly over the guitar work and the vibes. And both of these artists have solo albums that you should discover. Uh, is, um, Steve Marcus has an album, Tomorrow Never Knows. He does the Beatles song and he does a fiery vert four minute version of eight miles high on that album and larry coriel is the guitarist on that album he's had a both of these people had a long career and probably in that household names in jazz world man just keeps going on with such great uh solos on his own and the album ends with a 14 minute workout on an old R&B song, Philly Dog. It's probably one of the finest moments in all of these 
musician's career. And I would strongly suggest taking a look at it and spending some time with it. Well, you know, it's interesting. This is live 1969. And then you were mentioning a couple of his best jazz fusion albums. I have one of them, thanks to you, Push Push. And what year did that come out? Uh, I think it was 71. Um, yeah. I don't know. It might have been yeah. even. After I think it's early 70s. I'm not sure if it was the early 70s or the late 60s. But my whole point is that that album up. and this album are kind of, you know, in the same pocket of yeah. era. This one is a little more experimental on a lot of cuts. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Philly Doug. Is that like Baby Do the Philly Doug? That's yeah, that's Rufus Thomas. Yeah, song. yeah, yeah. Boy, I uh, the Marquis in did an instrumental version of it. Nice. I loved that song when it came out. <laughs> I've heard of it too. All right. Well, that's a great recommendation. Herbie Mann, I can tell you from experience. Uh, I would say that tagline is if you like jazz fusion, you'll check out this Herbie Mann reissue. You got it. Thank you so much, Fred. That's episode uh, 89. All done. Thank you.